They say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I have right now. God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable, oh, give me the strength. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing well today. It is a very, very early morning for me, so. <laughs> I normally don't get down here to um, hang out this early, so I'm kind of enjoying it. Haven't even finished my coffee yet. <laughs> We're going to sit down here and chat. And if you're new, I welcome you. I thank you for stopping in to check out my video, and I hope that you consider subscribing and typing that bell down there so that you get notified when I put out another video. Today is just going to be a day where we talk about another one of my favorite apps. Why not? Let's talk about Fetch Rewards. Now, many of you have probably heard Fetch Rewards or use it, but there's going to be some of you guys that have no idea what it's about. I just learned about it a few months ago, probably about five months ago. I've been using it for five months, racking up my points. I did turn my points in and get um, a gift card. A little while ago and now I'm racking it up to get another <laughs> gift card I am now getting, <laughs> I'm getting promo codes right now from um, people on my messenger so it's a lovely day today it has been an amazing day if you're new I welcome you to check out my Facebook page called Holly with Pamela I put a bunch of promo codes over there to get really cheap things or free things from Amazon Sorry, my video cut out on me or my, my button clicker. It just shuts my phone off. Anyways, um, I put a lot of uh, promo codes over there. They get you a big discount on a lot of stuff. If you shop on Amazon, it's amazing deals. My lighting seems a little bright in here. I don't know what that's about. So anyways, you want to go and check that out. This morning, this morning has been filled with ton of amazing deals. There has been lightning deals with promo codes. And if you know what lightning deals are on Amazon, it's where Amazon lowers the price of an item. And then if you have a, a promo code on top of that, you can get some amazing deals down to even free things. So I've been on it this morning. So anyways, let's get back to it and talk about Fetch Rewards. Let me get a drink of coffee. Sorry, it's already lukewarm. <laughs> I've been dealing with <clears throat> kids. <laughs> so anyways, um, so what Fetch Rewards is, is a grocery app. It is an app that you download on your phone and you snap pictures of um, your receipts. And Fetch Rewards has a ton of different products that will give you extra points for. And it is like everyday things that people will buy. I mean... I get a ton of points all the time. I got like four, was it 4,000 points because I bought peanuts, like I don't, $15 worth of peanuts. And it wasn't even, I didn't even pay $15 worth of peanuts, but because there was some special going on or something like that, I ended up getting, I don't know, extra points and a bunch of peanuts. <laughs> it was from Dollar General. So, but they have like, you name it, they have like stuff on there they give you extra points for. So not only do they give you points for just uploading your receipt, they also find the deals on your receipt for you. You don't have to find them yourself. Although sometimes I am a little guilty about going on Fetch Rewards and seeing what I can get extra points for when I go out and shopping and if it's a really good deal at the store and if it's on sale and if it's something I know that I'll eat or use or like or whatever, then I'll just go out and scoop it up because I know it's going to earn me some extra points on Fetch Rewards because that isn't awesome. It's also, and it's like, um, you can earn gift cards really fast on it. It's awesome. So the only downfall that, you know, I wish that they did was did what uh, Receipt Pail did and collect your receipts from online shopping because I definitely do more online shopping than I do in the stores. But I do got to tell you, I'm one of those people. When I go out, I look for receipts. Like I look for receipts on the ground or 
like if people leave receipts behind like I'll go to all these all the time and people will leave their receipts just on that table where you bag your own groceries people will leave receipts there all the time my husband was so embarrassed because I went to all these things my husband grew up in more of an upper class home and I grew up in middle class but I don't really care like okay so we were at all these and he was getting Keegan out of the car I had to go get carts so that we can go into the store and they have like a garbage can like right there and there was like this empty box from Aldi's was sitting on the garbage and there was a receipt in there and I went and grabbed the receipt and he's like oh my gosh it's horrible you're getting receipts out of the trash I'm like yeah and that's money it's like is somebody throwing money away um yeah I'm gonna get them receipts so my husband was a little but I find receipts all the time. He doesn't like when I pick them up off the ground or when I get them out of the garbage. But I mean, I wouldn't do it if it was a, if it was like, you know, a store where like a fast food restaurant or something where you know there's going to be like crap in there, but it was on the very top. So, but you just find yourself like, I've gotten so many good deals from it. So I use that. Um, that is actually the first one that I upload my receipt to before I go to Receipt Pal. Because Receipt Pal, I normally I do a lot with that on um, online shopping. But you should try out Fetch Rewards because it's awesome. And I'll put my link down there in the bottom. And if you use that, if you sign up and use it, they'll give you 2,000 points to start. Yeah, 2,000 points. So that is like only a thousand points away from getting a gift card and you rack up points a lot and you can download um, I think it's like 14 receipts a week on yeah. there so you can put on a lot of receipts on on that app so but the thing with the app is it has to be a place that sells groceries so it has to be like a grocery store or a mart you know um, you can do like Dollar General or you know little fancy stores dollar what is it family dollar or whatever it just has to be something like that or if like you have a gas station but it's also a mart and you purchase food or even if you don't purchase food but it can't be like with receipt pail you can do like gas receipts and stuff like that that's not the case with um, fetch rewards so and another thing is um, you cannot like say you and somebody in your household is both on fetch, you can't use a receipt and then give it to them and let them upload it because they'll they'll find that. On receipt pail you can, you can do it and then if somebody else in your household is on it, you can just give them the receipt when you're done and they can put it on their account and then receipt pail, don't really care. I'm still bragging about receipt pail, sorry. But they're both good. That's why I still use them. I'm not going to tell you guys anything that's not really good. So you should check that app out. If you do sign up in the link, if you do sign up for that app, then um, you'll get 2,000 po points to start. And I think I'll get 2,000 points to start. They're always doing like a special to where like I would get 4,000 and you would get 2,000 just for sharing it. But it's constantly changing. It's, it's not like that all the time. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah. I had to restart my video just because I don't want some in syncing issues with, you know. But anyways, it has been a morning for me. Let me just tell you about it. So I woke up at 6.30 like I normally do. I tried to go to bed early last night. Went to bed at 10.30 and then Brielle ended up waking up. So I went in and rocked her in the little glider that I have in her room for a couple minutes and then laid her down and she was just wide awake. So I made her a two ounce bottle and then she went to sleep. So, I didn't get to bed till after 11. I tried going to bed at 10.30. It just didn't happen. So, my alarm goes off at 11.30 and I was not ready to get up. Or 6.30. Did I say 11.30? 6.30. So, I was not ready to get up. And then Keegan is just like his dad in like every way. He's like an early riser. He's like ready to go. 6.30, he's like wide awake. So, I don't know what time he actually wakes up because he's up before me. And he's just quiet. He sits in there in his crib until... You know, he'll play with his toys in there until I get I get up and go get him. He never makes a sound, no matter how long he's in there. He'll just sit in there for hours and not say nothing. Just wait. <laughs> so, I, so, yeah, I wake up at 6.30. So, I got up, and of course, Keegan was up. I already knew he was going to. So, I go downstairs and make him 
his drink for the morning and then I hear Brielle. Brielle is up. Brielle is my sleeper. She's just like me. She sleeps in. She enjoys her sleep. So she's awake and I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. So I grab Keegan, give him his drink, run upstairs and grab Brielle, bring her down and then I make her bottle and she's kind of cranky. She's cutting teeth. But she was kind of cranky. She hasn't really been showing any like signs of cutting teeth. Like she hasn't been grumpy or anything like that. I have an amber necklace on her. So that, that helps a lot. I'm yawning because I'm so tired. But um, man. So she ends up being so cranky. She was just being nasty to me. She, she is uh, eight months old already and she was nasty. She was yelling at me. I fed her breakfast. I changed her butt. She had a bottle. I, I changed her butt right after her bottle. And then I gave her breakfast shortly after that. And she was just yelling at me. I said, okay, you're tired. I put her upstairs and her feet from her. So she was ready to go back to bed. And then Keegan, it's like 9.30, 9.20, 9.30. Keegan grabs his little panda bear and goes to the gate because he wants to go to bed. So I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird. Both of my kids are still sleeping and it's early. My mail hasn't even rang yet. So I figured that's why we're just going to come down here and talk and hang out. And I would do lives <laughs> if YouTube would let me. As soon as YouTube will let me get out and do lives, I will be happy to get on here and do a live. I'd love to get to know you guys and sit and hang out with you guys and talk to you besides having to always pre-record. So we will do that in the future, I promise. Other than that, I don't know if I really have anything to share. You guys need to go over there and check out my page if you haven't today. If you get some time in your day, go and check out some of the deals that I have. I posted 80% off for a, what is that called? It's a, a dash cam. Everyone needs dash cams now because, you know, just this world's crazy. People be hitting you or whatever. If you see an accident, then we're awesome. I'd say I have 80% off, which means you paid like 10 bucks for it. And it might still be over there, so go and check it out. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to get some awesome deals out for you today. I'm always trying to be on top of it. I do, however, uh, have to continue living my life. So, you're going to see points in the day where I'm not continuously adding because I have to. Yesterday, my husband's like, yeah, we really need to do something around this house. <laughs> because I'm so into, like, posting codes and getting deals and stuff like that out that my house takes a backseat during the week. And on Sundays, it's really, I do a lot of major cleaning. Yesterday, I washed curtains and dusted and vacuumed and swept and mopped and did laundry and cleaned the kitchen. And I, I was just trying to, like do some things. So on Sunday, you might see it a tiny bit slower, but I'm still trying to get on there and post. Usually I post, I'm like on it, on it, on it when my kids go to bed at seven o'clock. So a lot of times you'll see a lot of like fast paced moving deals from like seven to 11 at night. Last night was an early night though. I think I was done posting at like 10, 10 or 10 30 or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you on the next video. Just give it a thumbs up and let me know that you're still there or comment down below. That would be even better. I love reading your guys' comments. I love getting to know you all. I love just when you stop by and say hi. It just warms my heart and makes me feel good. So, All right, everybody. I hope you have a good day. If you're working, um, I hope your day goes by fast. And if you are a mom like me. I hope your day is filled with blessings and that your kids are good for you. I pray for the same for me. <laughs> All right, you guys. See you later. They say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I have right now. God, when you choose